Golf is one of our big uh, challenges that we kind of hang our hat on that we're able to actually execute it. Uh, it's not common for uh, college uh, networks to produce that because it's such a large animal, uh, such a big uh, thing to uh, try to tackle. You basically have um, a very large space, sim similar to um, doing fishing, but there's uh, not as much water. Um, so the point is to stay out of the water in golf. Um, but basically, we have an at-home control room, like you've been uh, hearing a lot of these people talk about. So uh, our challenge is to get those camera signals to our control room, because it's not feasible for us to uh, disassemble all of our, unrack all of our equipment and take it to the golf course. Um, but with golf, you have so many cameras, the distances are so far. Um, we thought the only option was to rent enough cellular bond packs uh, at every camera location. Um, but whenever we started to um, develop this idea and as we've gone on over the years, what we've actually ended up doing is doing line cuts from each hole. Um, so what that allows us to do is to cable each camera uh, back to the green or to the tee box, whatever makes the most sense, uh, into a very small switcher that's about the size of an iPad. And we're switching the camera feeds on site and then taking that SDI out into our, our uh, live view pack and sending that back to our centralized control room. So the control room uh, back at our football stadium, actually in Oklahoma, uh, we have uh, all these feeds coming in and we're able to go to that hole and we don't even have to worry about taking a certain camera. That cut is already coming to us um, as the correct tee shot, then green, back to tee, uh, what have you. So that actually allowed us to do a uh, 11 camera broadcast uh, with just four live view backpacks. Uh, so in the end, we were able to execute this, and I was able to look at our administration and say, hey, we didn't even have to spend any extra money to do this because we already used what we had in-house and just what we had laying around. So it's a little bit of a different way to look at this technology and a way to utilize it uh, is really as a tool to transmit um, not just a single feed, but multiple feeds at any given time. I just want to emphasize this because I found this so interesting, your, your efficiency that you've developed here. So you have four units that you have in-house. Correct. Right? Yeah. And so you have this large event that you, you thought you would need like 10, right? And how did you make the four do the work of 10? Each hole has multiple cameras. And so say a par three would have three cameras. We'd have one on the tee box and two on the green to do tight shots, wide shots of the green, whatever it might be. Uh, so those three cameras would be mixed uh, down to one live view stream. So however many holes, in the par five might have more, more cameras, but regardless, it's still coming down to one switch stream uh, in the end. Uh, same uh, concept we've applied to things like the pregame shows. Um, ben mentioned uh, football stadiums having 100,000 plus people in there, so uh, being able to get a good connection isn't necessarily uh, reliable, um, but we often can order an ethernet drop on the field um, from the stadiums, but that's only one drop. And so we utilize the same concept. We're taking our cameras uh, that are there on site, mixing them before we feed into uh, that transmission signal to send it back so that we're able to um, get what we want to accomplish via the means that we have, which in those cases would be just a single Ethernet drop.